It is likely the biggest environmental cleanup the west coast of Canada has ever seen, and it's happening in our own backyard. Getting rid of toxic contamination in Rock Bay is moving into phase three, and it is more extensive and more expensive than originally thought. CTV's Stephanie Sherlock reports. At a glance, it's just a small bay in Victoria's Upper Harbour. But what lies underneath is a nightmare. And this is one of the most contaminated sites in the province at one time. A real toxic mess down in that area. In 1862, a coal gasification facility opened and for the next 87 years dumped its toxic mess into the bay. It has historical contamination that began in the 1860s with the Victoria Gas Company, moved into BC Electric, and as a successor company to BC Electric, BC Hydro uh, has the responsibility to remediate the soil. And it's no small project. There was more contamination than was originally anticipated for the first two stages of the Rock Bay project. The remaining contamination is in a complex location to access since it is near the shore and under the bay. Transport Canada plans to build a 15-meter coffer dam just past this wooden dock, stretching straight across to contain this entire area. Two million litres of this water will then be pumped out so they can get at the contaminated soil underneath. 65,000 tons of it will be removed, but where it will go and how it will be treated isn't yet known. All those kinds of details will not really be known until the completion of the tendering process. Completion is what Hydro is looking forward to. When cleanup's done, we hope to have the site available for community use. Something the City of Victoria is already considering. The fact that the remediation is going forward, that we have an end in sight finally, uh, 2016, that we can start working on the plan so when the, the land is ready, the city's ready, and hopefully the private sector will be ready. Fortin personally envisions high-density mixed use in the area with Aboriginal representation in some form. Expect public consultations prior to the remediation's completion in 2016. Stephanie Sherlock, CTV News, Victoria.